So Vladimir, what an amazing place this is here in Austria. It, it is amazing, isn't it? Take a look on the back of my background. It's um, in Austrian mountains, in the region called Tyrol. Um, nice fresh air, great water, and of course, there's like no destructions at all. So it's not in a city. It's not preparation in the city. I used to have preparations in the city, but uh, uh, it's not so much, not so much fun. Too too many destructions. Too much is going on around, and here is just perfect. How often do you come here? Is it a regular thing? Uh, well, we are here in Stangivet. That's the name of the place and the hotel we are staying. Probably uh, Klitschko brothers are booking six months of the, of the year. So half the year, either Vitaly or I were here. So how is the camp going? Are you happy with everything so far? Yes, thank you very much. I'm very happy with the camp. Anything in particular? Anything you're trying for? Is there any more motivation for this one? Um, I've been uh, doing my job for the last 25, excuse me, 21 years. And... Um, all the time there is different fighters and you have to prepare yourself accordingly uh, to the style and the size and you have to get the sparring partners that are um, look not just look alike fighting a light and they have the same style and um, so far so good and uh, I'm um, I'm actually very satisfied to to have this job uh, what I'm doing because that's the best what I can do in my life boxing and I, and I enjoy to be here in Austria and um, to go through the preparation to have all the media presence and following and uh, just regular fans that are in the gym watching the workouts um, I've been very fortunate with that and so I'm definitely in my element I would say in this way and really enjoy this time uh, when we spoke to you last time uh, you described Manny Stewart as a genius what did you mean by that? What, what, what is it that makes him a genius? He is genius in the ring and in the uh, sport of boxing. He has been around for, I think, over f 40 years or something like that, uh, maybe more. And uh, uh, the amount of experience that he has, the, the, the Emmanuel and I, we're kind of on the same page. So the way he thinks, the way I think. Uh, we understand exactly in little conversation, little couple of words, so we can read the future opponents and read the fighter, uh, not just on the outside, but also inside what kind of, you know, um, he's uh, uh, mentally, psychologically, uh, what he can do, what can he bring uh, into the fight, what kind of energy he can bring in the fight. And uh, you have to know Emmanuel more to, to understand what I mean with that, but but uh, definitely, Emmanuel Stewart is, um, is uh, not just Hall of, uh, Hall of Fame trainer, but he's also a genius in the ring and in, in, in boxing. Uh, I've been working with a lot of coaches, and he's, uh, he's definitely something that, um, that probably the peak of the mountain. Has he changed you as a fighter in any way? Is there anything specific that he's changed? You? He definitely added. Um, uh, in work with Emmanuel, I got to my basics, what I have learned in the past uh, as amateur. And um, the thing with Emmanuel, he's not changing you. He just lets you be yourself. So he, he makes little fine tunings here and there, but he just basically lets you, um, lets you grow on your own base, uh, what you got from nature and out of your experience as well. So he's not breaking and making in a way like, I'm telling you, you got to do it this way because that's my style, that's the way I do it. Uh, he's not acting this way, he's um, basically let me do what I want to do and um, just, as I said, makes uh, little corrections and I would call it fine-tuning. Now to the fight then, how glad are you that it's finally on, it's happening? Well, um, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't cheer, you know, I wouldn't be too happy right now. Uh, I've been in this situation, I've been here in the training camp before, uh, June 20th fight, uh, 2009, when the first David Hay fight was scheduled um, in Gelsenkirchen uh, in Germany, uh, but it didn't happen. So I, um, on the back of my mind, so I hope that this fight will happen. And, and, and you know, I've been in this situation already before, and with the various press conferences and all the talks and all the promises and whatever uh, was coming up, uh, coming out of David Hay's mouth. Um, but eventually uh, no action was delivered. So I hope that this time that um, action will follow in the ring. And uh, yes, I am very happy about that. Yes, I'm, 
I'm looking forward to this challenge and I'm looking forward to this fight. Uh, I'm, as always, motivated for any NH fight and uh, David Hayes fight is not, not an exception. I, I, I'm, I'm very well motivated and, and I'm looking forward to this fight. And uh, it's going to be a really enjoyable night on July 2nd. And I'm telling you, not enjoyable all around. For the fans that are going to be present um, uh, at the soccer stadium, because it's going to be a huge audience. Um, and it's going to be a great experience for David Hay as well, uh, because he hasn't fought in, at the stadium this size yet. And um, it's, it's, it's just experience. It's another experience also for me. And each time is something special. It's going to be my fourth um, fight at the soccer stadium at such a big arena in a row. So um, I know exactly what to expect, and, and, and I'm very I'm looking forward to it. I'm very excited about that. that. So it's going to be all around. And I forgot also the, the, the audience um, that's going to watch this fight on TV, also in Great Britain and around the world. We're expecting over 140 countries broadcasting it as a live event around the world. And um, so it's going to be an experience for them as well to see that fight. The people out there have been wanting the fight for ages. How glad are you for them that they can see it, the fans? Of course. Um, listen, I, I used social network um, YouTube to call out David Hay. Um, it was a year ago. And, um, you know, after all the talk, we have to follow through with the action. And um, eventually it's happening. So I hope it's going to happen. And I and I and I um, and I think that that boxing fans will get exactly what is um, has been missing in the heavy division, probably the excitement as well. So um, and this fight is it's it's a little bit different than the other fight about the excitement because you have David Hay out there that is is uh, the way that he acts. I don't need to describe it; we all know. So and you have another side, you know, um, the Klitschkos. Um, in a way, we are uh, with Vitaly. So, and you have these two opposites that eventually, you know, meeting each other in the ring. Uh, and I, and I, and I think, and I, and I truly believe that this fight is going to be very, very special, or for also for boxing fans around the world. He's been over to Germany before and beat a bigger man in value. Of can he? Is, is there a chance that he can do it again? He's been over. He's He's had those odds against him before. Well, um, David Hay has been fighting in the heavy division, and he has established himself, um, more or less. And uh, he hasn't done too many fights, uh, but he got some of the fights. So I have to give credit uh, for him. And I think that David Hay is the most, uh, probably the fastest, the fastest fighter I've uh, faced in the ring. Uh, and he has speed, and he has a power. So I will also give credit on that. I think that I'm going to be challenged in the ring on July 2nd, and that makes me really happy about. It. So that that's actually makes me wake up every morning and get in the gym and work out and prepare myself. And and uh, um, and I will definitely not underestimate David Hay. Overestimate, I won't either. When you uh, when you came to ringside to Sky Sports Studio, you seem to be having quite a lot of fun with David. Do you do you secretly like him? Do you, have, do you like having the fun? Is it all serious, would you say? Um, I'm very serious about that business. Uh, but, I, but I enjoy enjoy the time to be in boxing. And, and um, just put yourself, you know, in my skin. So you're the heavyweight champion of the world. So you attract a lot of people with your performance in the ring. You, you have David Hay that is you know, very loud and, and, and in a meaner way. And, and so you eventually, you know, got the contract, so you, you will fight at such a big arena. Um, you know exactly what to do because you're in your element. Um, I've been doing it for 21 years and um, I've collected experience in different ways. Um, it hasn't been always positive, so I had my failures, but it was important to have those failures. And um, I am today where I am and where I am and who I am. Uh, because of the sport and um, because of all the experience I have made, and um, it's it's super exciting to 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 be able to perform, to have this health, to have this ability. Um, because to be a good boxer, you have to have a lot. Of, it's a chain of different qualities. You have to have good condition. You have to have you know good heart. You have to have you know good strategy. So you have definitely have to be intelligent, uh, and. Um, 
luck belongs to that as well. So there is a lot of components that are important to uh, to have, and not too many guys uh, have it and they have this chance. And and it's very special to be that special. You know, it's it's very. Uh, I'm very fortunate with that, and I care about that, and I know that you can lose it. You know. Um, glamour and fame and everything what you have uh, have been building up in the past years uh, you can lose it at one second and that's why um, this um, danger of of or a chance to lose everything or that you can actually have a failure makes you super uh, um, bright super awake and concentrated and 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 it gives you also uh, satisfaction and love to, to the job what you do. And that's exactly the job of boxing and, and being a heavyweight champion. Is this your biggest test, David Hyde? Well, I prepare for every fight is the biggest test. You, you know, there's a lot of talks before the fights, but uh, in the ring that you will face the truth of the person. And uh, um, sometimes I had my experience like I was expecting the fighter going to be really tough and complicated in the fight, but it was really easy to you know beat him up in the ring. That's what I'm doing for a living. I'm sorry, uh, using uh, language this way. But and then the other fighters, um, I was expecting actually they're going to be not really super special, but they were super complicated in the ring, and fighting them was really really difficult. So I have experienced you know uh, different ways of that and. We can talk about David Hay and, and this fight a, a lot and how it's going to be. But you know what? We'll find it out on July 2nd. And I'm expecting from David Hay, as I said before, that he, he's going to be one of the toughest opponents that has speed and power. And that's what I'm preparing for. How happy is it for you to be champion alongside your brother? It's something very special. It hasn't been in the heavy division uh, before two brothers. Uh, conquering the the heavy division and um, Vital is my mate he's my teammate and uh, we're together uh, doing this job and and such exciting uh, thing to have brother that is in the same business and as successful as you are and uh, uh, it's it's a great teamwork I, I really enjoy it and love it so if you win this fight together with your brother you'll both have all the belts is that mission complete um, the belts actually in this fight with David Hay, it's um, it's an upside potential as I see. I'm facing the person, David Hay, in the ring, and that's what I'm really worried and cared about and you know prepare for. Um, the belts, you know, nice to have. It's a good goal, and uh, but it's it's not number one for me. So number one is the actual challenge from David Hay as a person, as a boxer. Uh, and uh, uh, that's what I'm excited um, mostly about. about. And uh, uh, the belts, it's um, secondary. So July 2nd, what, what happens? July 2nd, uh, first of all, I'm going to expect and I'm going to be in my you know, dressing room and looking in the ring and see David Hay first walking into the ring. So then I'll be, here we go. Now the fight is on. I'm getting out. And the fight gonna be right there. 50th knockout. That's gonna be my 50th knockout. So David Hay said that I have, I was fighting um, nobody, and those 49 guys were uh, BUMS, and uh, I will just show him that he's not different than anyone else from those 49 guys, and he's going to be number 50. And it says on the back of your T-shirt, failure is not an option. Failure is not an option, man. Failure is not an option, that's exactly what it says on my back, yes, of the t-shirt. Hey versus Klitschko. July 2nd, Sky Sports HD Box Office. To order, Sky customers go to sky.com slash order box office or phone this number 1-800-222-2222.